Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. There's something special about a wood stove. I mean, I love my propane stoves, my white gas stoves, but in the end, especially on a cold day, there's nothing like cranking up a fire and using your wood stove to cook or heat up water for coffee, whatever you might need. We have tried out all kinds of wood stoves here on the channel, different sizes, shapes, materials, prices. My favorite, of course, is the five inch uh, Gen 2 firebox that's made out of titanium, but the $150 price tag is it's pretty steep. Now, the Freestyle is coming out and there's going to be a titanium version. I don't know exactly how much it's going to cost, but it's probably going to be up there with my favorites as well. What if you want a great wood stove? You don't want to spend an arm and a leg and you want something that's just easy to use. What's more, what if you're not like me and don't live on 10 acres and have an infinite supply of twigs and leaves and anything else to burn? What do you do then? Don't worry. I've got you covered on both fronts. Stay tuned. I'll show you guys an awesome budget stove and an easy way to keep you fueled. Thanks for watching, guys. Now, I actually did a review of this stove quite a few years ago, but with the call for more budget-minded gear from all my subscribers, it was years ago, and I still really love this stove, so I decided you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight it again. It's the Ohuhu Stainless Steel Camping Stove. I'll pull it out of its little, little case there. Stowed like this, it's 5.3 by three, and open it is 5.3 by 6.1. Weighs 14 ounces, which is a pretty reasonable weight, made out of stainless steel. The, my stove came just like this. The new version comes with a grill grate as well, a little round grill grate, which is a very nice, uh, nice addition. Made in China. I paid $17. I looked back on Amazon. It's been probably four or five years. I paid $17. Price right now is $24.99, so not terribly different. To put it together is pretty simple. You've got this main body type area here. This just pops through, just like that. You flip this over, put this on top, and there is your gasifier design. You can see holes all through here, hollow, so it's got space between the outside of the, uh, the stove and the inside chamber, and that allows the gases to go up through there and then out these holes, which is what causes the gasification. Here's your top, just like that as easy as it gets. It also comes with a really nice little solid fuel plate, which I've used for years in other applications. Um, just a really nice, simple design, very inexpensive. The only thing I don't like about it, this is in a review, if you want a full review of this, you can uh, check down below. I don't like these, these pot supports. They just, they could be better. You can flip them in if you want, theoretically, and put a small pot on here, but it's not super, stable. So the newer version, like I said, comes with a little grill grate and you can put that grill grate on top and it adds a lot of stability. But nonetheless, that's what I got. This is the stove, very budget minded. Let me show you guys the fuel. Now I also mentioned earlier that we're going to be using a specific type of fuel today and that's going to be wood pellets. Wood pellets are easy to find, easy to store, and I think you'll be impressed at how well they work. These pellets are also known as biofuel, uh, generally made of compacted sawdust and related industrial type wastes from milling lumber. They're extremely dense and produced to a moisture content of less than 10%. They're super easy to obtain online, big box stores, Walmart, Lowe's, Menards, whatever it might be in your area. What I recommend is getting a pretty big bag and taking them home, go to the store and also get a uh, dog food container, one of those containers that has kind of a, a rubber seal around the outside you will be able to keep um, these wood pellets in your preps almost indefinitely if you keep them dry. And um, they're a perfect addition to anybody's emergency plan. You'll see here in a second when we do our burn test that a little goes a long way. We're gonna use two cups of wood pellets, pretty much just under two cups or right at two cups. And we'll see how long it burns for and how long it burns strongly for. I'll leave a link down below to the particular pellets that I bought on Amazon, but really you can buy them anywhere. Any of them will work. Let's get this thing cranked up. I'll show you how I normally do it, and we'll see how long two cups of wood pellets will burn.
can you not just stare at that beautiful wood flame and gasification all day long? Hmm. This video is basically to show you, you don't have to spend an arm and a leg on, uh, on materials or on a stove, and you don't have to go out and source all kinds of, of wood and twigs and stuff if you don't want to. You can use this type of stove. It costs you less than 20, 25 bucks. Uh, add a $10 bag of wood pellets and you have a pretty good emergency um, heating and cooking system. I just don't think there's a better combination for emergencies if you, if you wanna have a wood burning option. Um, yeah, you can store firewood. If, like I said, if you live somewhere where you have easy access to things and no big deal. But even for me, I keep wood pellets. I keep wood pellets because it rains and it gets cold or it gets hot and sometimes you don't want to mess with going out and picking up stuff. And in a moist environment like I live, having a secure and ready and easy to use source of fuel for any stove is a big deal. You can absolutely spend as much as you want on gear. You can spend as much as you want on stoves, but you don't have to spend an arm and a leg and you don't have to be limited by where you live or, or what you have around you to make sure you can take care of you and your family. Especially for an emergency kit, a bug out bag, an emergency car kit, I would not spend hundreds of dollars on a stove and then let it just sit there. Why not spend $20, $25, get yourself a two gallon uh, Ziploc, fill it full of these wood pellets, throw it in the back of your car, and you've got a pretty good system to make sure that if you need it, you can warm up some water, you can cook some dinner, whatever you might need. Even could offer you some warmth. What do you guys think? You agree with my pick of an awesome budget stove and um, very simple to use fuel? I mean, honestly, it's kind of hard to disagree. This thing works great. The wood pellets are great. But trust me, there will be people down in the comments who absolutely hate this video. There's, there's already been people that probably have disliked this video. They disliked it within the first 15 seconds. Just the intro got to them is bad. Do me a big favor, guys, if you liked the video, hit the thumbs up down below. It really helps spread things across YouTube. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscription button. And if you want to make sure you don't miss any videos here on the channel, hit that notification bell. Lots of videos in the works. I'm by myself this week, and later in the week, I will be leaving and going to Arkansas. We're going to be shooting a lot of videos, which is exciting. Right now, the weather looks wet, so that could be a challenge, but I usually make sure my video plans are flexible enough to, to, to film inside or outside. As always guys, I appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Stay tuned for more videos soon.